you useless high school dropout. Riddle me this. When are you actually gonna pack your shit and leave the house, huh? I don't really need you at all anymore. <laughs> We're done using you. You're used up. Figure it out, man. Oh my god, mom. You're gonna start this crap again? I'm in the middle of my job right now. I just started my shift. I really don't want to sit here and listen to you bitch and moan at me while I'm working. I heard enough of that crap and I'm finally home after a 12-hour shift. What are you talking about? You're a high school dropout. That's what you deserve. So you're telling me that the only thing you can do is talk back to your own parents? Just another thing you fail at? That's not what I'm talking about. And that's not what's going on right now. Why do you want to make fun of the fact that I'm a high school dropout right now? What do you have to gain from it? I literally dropped out of high school because I had to help you and dad anyway. It's not like I didn't want to go to school. Yeah, yeah, here we go again with your lies. <laughs> the only reason that you're a high school dropout is because you're a useless loser. Don't try to shift the blame on your parents. You're just a useless moron who is of no use to society or anyone in it. You're just a trash lowlife. You really need to cut it out, Mom. You're going way too far. Be honest with me here. You know that I didn't just drop out of high school because I didn't want to go, right? I started working right out of middle school because I had to pay off the loans and debt that you two accrued. You two! My parents! It has nothing to do with my worth. I don't know what you're talking about at all, silly. <laughs> don't be making things up like that. I don't know what you're doing exactly. I heard something about a security guard or something. I don't care. But that job is literally the worst thing you could have possibly done. I mean, how could you possibly be proud of that? You really need to look at how Jerry is living his life. He's a better role model than you'll ever hope to be. What the hell? Why would you say that it's the worst thing? I've been working hard and tirelessly. And not to mention that almost every penny that I've earned has been sent straight to you and dad. You really gonna take all that money from me and still say that I'm the absolute worst when my job is giving you that money? I've been doing this for over 10 years, Mom. Over 10 years I've been sending you and Dad money while I worked hard. And yet you still look down on me like that. I'm actually kind of impressed by how much you're able to look down on me. Jerry has already graduated from his college top of the class and has a top-level firm ready to hire him. He is going to be making bank as soon as he starts. Do you know what that means? It means we don't need you anymore. Put another way, it means you need to pack your stuff and get the hell out of the house. You living here is just a massive waste of electricity and utility bills. <laughs> You're gonna pay for that too? You're really going that far? I really feel like I've earned my place. The only reason that he was able to go to college at all is because I was able to earn enough money to support him and you guys while he attended. He's still taking out student loans. He's still taking out student loans, though, because it wasn't enough for him to finish up everything and live. It sounds like he's borrowing from other sources, though. Not just legit student loans. That's none of my business, though. What? What the hell are you talking about, Russell? I really hope that he's already returned all of his debt, for his sake and yours. But again, that's none of my business. So he's found a job, huh? I'm glad to hear that. It sounds like things are looking up for him. Yeah, he really deserves this job. Unlike you, he's elite and is going to work at a corporate firm and make the big money. He's literally everything his dropout older brother never could be. You're just a piece of lint compared to him. You know, I've always known that you really love Jerry. That really has never surprised me at all, but like, come on, Mom. You've really got to be less hateful towards me. I worked hard for you and Dad, who, by the way, has disappeared to go get milk about 20 years ago. I did everything in my power to make sure this family stayed fed and relatively happy. I know you're happy that Jerry found a job. I really am happy for him too, Mom. It's not just you. 
But shouldn't you be at least a little thankful for me, his big brother too? I feel like it's a little bit weird for you to be out to hate me when I've literally supported you two. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'm really done with this conversation. The point of all of this is that you're done. This is over. I don't need you to be around anymore. <laughs> Can you please just get the hell out of this house? I really don't need you anymore. I'm going to go ahead and kick you out of the house. We're no longer going to be mom and son. Bye! <laughs> wait, 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 what are you talking about, mom? We're no longer going to be mom and son? I told you that your younger brother found a job, right? They gave him a job offer and everything. I don't need you as a family member anymore. You're all used up. You're old news! Should I keep going? You're just a waste of money at this point. A money sink. I need you to get the hell out. Right now, I don't care what happens to you. The low life with a shit job. You might as well lose your job and become some hobo under a bridge or something. I wouldn't care. I'm definitely not going to help you out. We're going to cut ties and pretend we never existed to each other. You're no one to me. And don't even think about coming back to me to ask for money. It's useless. You won't get a single penny out of me, you leech. What are you talking about? I would never want to ask you for money, Mom. I've never felt entitled to any of your money. You're gonna cut ties with me as soon as Jerry got a job offer? Seriously, Mom? After everything I've done for you? Are you losing it, Mom? Actually, how can you even be like that towards your own son, Mom? You must be out of your mind. What? How am I out of my mind? <laughs> as soon as the younger brother who's now destined to become an elite corporate member... We don't need the low-life older brother. Can anyone say scum? Don't ever interact with your brother or myself, okay? We don't need you anymore. <laughs> I actually pity you, Mom. I have no words for you. I can't believe that you'd cut me away like nothing ever happened after all that I've done for you and him. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. You're not worth it. Just make sure you pack your shit and leave ASAP, okay? Look, right now I'm working, like I said earlier. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna do something productive with my life, okay? <laughs> I heard you found a job, bro. Why didn't you tell me? It's a big time corporate job too, right? Congratulations, you must have worked hard. Oh, that old bitch was talking about it! <laughs> Sorry that I'm the only one that's able to be elite and you're just some low-life scum. <laughs> Whatever. Are you sure you're able to pay back all your loans? I don't really care for any of the small talk coming from you. You've loaned some from me and had me take out some loans too, so you better make sure you pay everything back to me. Okay, okay, I'm working for a huge corporation, so I won't be breaking a sweat along the way. <laughs> But I'm not gonna pay off the loans that you took out, bro. You're crazy. What? What the hell? What are you talking about? You're my brother, right? My dearest and beloved older brother. I don't feel the need to return any money when it's just money that's been lent and moved around within the family. <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure to spend it all very carefully for myself. <laughs> you can sleep easy at night knowing I'm gonna pocket all of your money. Better stop messing around, Jerry. I'm a lot of patience. Do you realize how much I've loaned you over the years? Seriously, it must be in the tens of thousands by now. I've spent a lot of money on your tuition, too. You know, for the college that helped you land that sweet corporate job. I mean, it can't be helped, can it? You're literally useless when it comes to anything else. That's all you're good for. Huh? What do you mean? I'm saying that that old hag is right about some things, and one thing she's right about is you and how to treat you. You're not smart, so you've been working as a security guard, right? You're headed straight to the gutters, bro, living amongst the other scum around you. 
I'm glad that at least I was smart and actually went to college using my brain instead of just dropping out of high school like some loser. <laughs> no, what you're lucky about is that you were the second child. That's literally the only difference between you and me. When we were born, you had no reason to drop out of high school and go to work because you had your big brother. I actually liked high school too, you realize that? Not like I didn't like going to high school. I mean, that's just how life is sometimes, you know? What can you do about it? You really just pulled the short straw. <laughs> uh, you should wish for better luck in the next time you're born. <laughs> I don't have any regrets anymore because I worked out my demons from the past, but if that's the attitude you want to have, then I also have my own plans too. Don't think that I haven't learned a thing or two. Congratulations on your employment though. I'm happy for you. I'm never going to loan you any kind of money from now on, so don't ever come crying back to me for help. Do you understand? <laughs> I threw away all of your shit before you came back from your graveyard shift, just so you know. I'm not keeping it in the house. Wait, what? What the hell? If it hasn't been taken away by the trash guys yet, maybe you can be lucky and pick it up from the front of the house. <laughs> but I don't want you to come inside the house anymore. Stay the hell outside of our house. Do you understand? You're not family anymore, you hear? We're strangers now. Hooray! <laughs> you being serious right now? This isn't some kind of prank? You took someone's belongings without asking about it and just threw it outside? And to throw it all away? Of course not. I kept all of the stuff that looks like we would still be able to get some use out of it. You just make sure to take everything I've deemed as trash and useless, including yourself, and get the hell out, okay? <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of this. It's gone way too far. Everything I've ever done for you has been for a waste, huh? There was literally no point in me sticking out my head and taking one for the team. I've worked hard and tirelessly, day in and day out, to make sure that this family stays happy. And that's how you just throw me away like nothing ever happened? Like I'm just some garbage to be disposed of? You're literally some low-life scum who dropped out of middle school. What the hell are you talking about? It's not like you have any rights. Don't worry, your younger brother who's straight on the path to becoming a corporate elite employee will be taking great care of me from now on. <laughs> Can the useless idiot please just disappear for me? I need you to just be out of my life from now on. That's why you don't thank me at all and just throw away all of my personal belongings? I'm at a loss for words, Ma. You're seriously gonna cut old ties with me, huh? You're being dead serious about us not being family anymore? Yes. <laughs> we don't need anyone like you in our family when you're just low-life scum. Don't you understand? Okay, I understand. I will be doing the same thing then. You will be cut out of my life. I want to make sure that you understand we are strangers now, so we will not be talking to each other at all. Yes, that's exactly what I want. You finally get it. <laughs> I'm not going to give you a single penny back. All the money you've ever loaned me will be used for our future. <laughs> I don't need any of it back. I didn't plan on asking anyway. But promise me that you'll never ask me for more money either because I'm not going to help. Why would anyone have to rely on you for any kind of help? <laughs> Thank you so much for working so hard and spending your life against the other low-life scum to pay back our loans and debt. <laughs> the younger one has finally secured a job, so we don't need you, the low-life security guard, to be around us anymore. Goodbye, shitty ATM. Alright, I'll take my stuff and leave then. We're done with our family ties too. <laughs> Yeah, sure, whatever, just like you asked. We'll cut our family ties. No more family. Goodbye, lady. You must be so happy that everything worked out in your favor, huh? What's going on, Russell? When are you going to come back home to the house where your family is? 
You really should come back soon, shouldn't you? It's been way too long. I think you should come back home. Why are you being so stubborn? I've messaged you so much. What? What the hell are you talking about, lady? What do you mean, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> we haven't been able to pay off all of our bills recently. There are quite a few bills that need to be paid off. You should be getting pretty bored of running away from your home, right? Just come back already. I'm going to be expecting your return so that you can be paying off all of our bills. Thanks. Shut the hell up! <laughs> what are you smoking, lady? Who even are you? I don't know anyone like you. Wait, what? What are you talking about? We already cut ties, right? I'm pretty sure you wanted to. What did you want from me now? Do you have some kind of goal? I don't have anything left to deal with you. You're just some random lady. I left the house just like you asked me. I didn't even ask to be thrown out. You practically evicted me. I cut ties with you just like you wanted. That is what you wanted, right? I'm not gonna go back to that house, just so you know. There's not a chance in hell. Wait, hang on though. Can you at least hear me out? I could really use your help, seriously. We really don't have any money anymore to even survive day to day. I'm really struggling, so I could really use your help ASAP. Just come home quickly, okay? What? What the hell are you talking about after all of that speech that you gave me? Jerry got employed at his fancy elite corporate job, right? I was just in the way of his success? That's what you told me anyway. I literally just listened to everything you wanted of me. I didn't even want to, but I did it anyway because you asked me not so politely. We cut ties completely. We're strangers now. I have no intention of ever dealing with you at all. I really don't care what you say from here. Nothing you say will make me change my mind. It's a waste of time. Oh, come on, don't be like that. It's not a waste of time. You know it's not. Jerry was supposed to go to work at this big-time corporate job to be an elite, but then... But then, he just left the job and ran away from home, leaving all of his loans and debt behind. Ran away? What do you mean? He said that he didn't want to work at some company for so long, and that he wasn't suited to be some kind of corporate slave. He said that he had to go to some kind of game event or something, I don't know. None of it really made sense at all. I didn't even listen after a little while because none of it made any sense. He apparently just left the office one day and never showed up again. He just went AWOL. No one knows where he is or what he's doing. He hasn't come home to our house either. I want to put out a missing persons report, but then... But then he just tells me that he's alive, so he doesn't need to be searched at all. So there's no point in reporting it to the police. Even if I did report him missing, the police wouldn't do anything. They'd just think I'm crazy. I mean, I would have seen that coming from a mile away. You should have known better than to trust that weasel. What? What are you talking about? Jerry is only really good on the surface. He gets along with most people initially, but he's never really interested in working hard or anything like that. He's been spoiled ever since he was young, so he's been spending money like crazy and doesn't know how to save money. That's why he's been running around borrowing money from myself and Lord knows who else. Probably anyone he could borrow from. He put all that money into games and gambling, which are apparently his favorite pastime or hobby. He's got so many loans and debt that he probably is drowning now. Up to his neck in debt, you know what I mean? I don't know any of what you're talking about. I don't think any of that's true. But what are you talking about anyway? Gambling, loans, debt? Is this the same person? Oh, someone didn't come by our house to try to get their money back? Some loan sharks or something? What? What are you talking about? It sounds like he won't be able to pay it back anyway, so yeah. I'm pretty sure you're going to be responsible for his debt. I really expected the loan sharks to be showing up at your doorsteps by now. What? Those people are loan sharks? I didn't know who those people were. I really couldn't believe that Jerry would possibly be taking out loans or something, so I turned them away from the house, but... Wait, so you're telling me that he's seriously taking out that many loans? 
Yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Even if you turn them away now, they're gonna come every single day until you pay them back what he owes. You know, it actually might be in your best interest to actually do your best to pay them back. I hear they don't like having missing money. Or maybe you can find Jerry somewhere and have him pay them back. So that you don't get beat up or something. I don't really care what happens though. He gets beat up, you get beat up. None of that matters to me at all anyway. What do you mean it doesn't matter to you at all? You're my son. Of course it matters to you. My physical safety should be relevant to my own son. Yeah, I used to be your son. What? Just because you need help now doesn't mean anything. We've already cut ties, remember? <laughs> We're strangers now. I've been paying off Jerry's other loans up until about a month ago. I've been working hard for that. I've actually loaned him money on other fronts too, not just there. You're kidding, right? I, I didn't know that. Why didn't you just tell me, sweetie? Yeah, that's because I literally didn't tell you, stupid. I mean, to be fair, it's not like you would have believed me even if I did tell you. You'd probably laugh at me or something. I've never, I've never had any kind of financial freedom of any sort up until this point. I've never really had any kind of freedom at all. I wasn't even thanked for all of my hard work. I was suddenly chased out of my own house by my very own mother. That's why I decided that I would continue going forward with my life without having anything to do with you at all. Nothing to do with me? But we're family. I'm your only mother. That should mean something, right? You can't just up and say that we're strangers and actually cut ties completely with family, right? It's impossible. Actually, it was a lot easier than I thought. Huh? I've already moved to a different state, and I'm not going to tell you where either. Because it makes no sense to tell a stranger where I'd live. Also, I'm planning on changing my contact information too. You know, cell phone, email, etc. I'm never going to meet you ever again. You're completely cut out of my life, just like you asked for. Needless to say, everything above applies to Jerry as well. What are you talking about? Don't be saying such stupid things. Your own flesh and blood are in trouble, and you're sitting there whining. You have an obligation to save us. Actually, I have something to say to you. I've kept a lot of stuff to myself for a long time. Most of the time, actually. I've just held back. But I've decided that from now on, I'm not gonna hold back. I'm done. What are you talking about? I've got a certification in my workplace. Top scores, too. I didn't tell you, but I've got my GED, too. I actually got it a few weeks ago. The other day, I was actually promoted, and I was moved to a new department. That's why I was able to move to a different location. What? Seriously? I thought you were joking. You're seriously not in the city anymore. Yeah, so I think we really won't ever see each other again. <laughs> This is actually perfect for me, though. It all works out. Wait, hang on. Seriously, you're going to give me a headache. Please, don't abandon me like this. I apologize for everything up until this point. I, I will do better, I promise. Come on, let's move back in together and live like we used to back in the day. We can do this, I swear. No, we can't really. I've actually already found someone I'm going to marry, so... What? Yeah, so I'm gonna cut ties with idiots like you. You're all just trouble for people around you anyway. I think I've done plenty for you as far as being a good kid, right? I even helped my stupid brother who's just a two-faced idiot graduate college. I'm not gonna be able to give you anything beyond this, no matter how much you beg. Alright you guys, have fun, and good luck on your own. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Mom was wrong, sweetie, I swear. I want you to come back to my house. I really need you. Please, save your own family. Yeah, we're not family anymore, so I'm gonna give you a nice big no! <laughs> You're seriously good at this whole pestering thing, aren't you? A father who disappeared after taking out way too many loans for his own good and my brother? Honestly, both of them seem to be a perfect fit for someone like yourself. <laughs> Alright, like I said before. 
Good luck on your own. Oh, and you guys have lost all usefulness for me. Actually, you've lost any kind of usefulness for me about 10 years ago. The mom kept contacting Russell, no matter how much he declined her calls and ignored her text messages. She just kept begging him for his help and wouldn't let up at all. But apparently, he was able to just block her out completely and intentionally left all of her text messages on red just to spite her. Eventually, though, he did just block her phone number entirely, which made ignoring her all the more easier for him. All her efforts to reach out to him were in vain, as he had already blocked her on every form of contact that she had with him. The loan sharks, however, did keep paying her visits. She was taken somewhere where no one really knew what was going on, and she had lost all hope. She must have felt really stupid believing in the wrong son at the end of the day. But it was little too late. This is what happens when you completely berate someone and try to take advantage of them. Karma is a dish best served cold. Afterwards, no one really knows what happened to her or Jerry, but Russell got married and is living life happily ever after. He learned true freedom and love without the abuse from his annoying family members. Additionally, he's now in the process of building his own family and is loving every second of his life. I'm sure with how hard Russell has been working every day and every night, he'll be able to succeed in everything he tries and will be able to live happily ever after. Hey, about meeting my parents tomorrow. I have a bad feeling that my dad might say something rude. He can be pretty insulting when he wants to. You, you don't have to take him seriously, so can you just ignore him if he does say anything stupid? Huh? Are you being serious? All I'm doing is introducing myself as your fiancé. So why would he say something rude? That doesn't make any sense. Is there any reason why he would want to insult me? If anything, shouldn't you talk to your dad about that rather than warning me? I don't understand why I'm the one that has to ignore him if he does insult me. Well, yeah, I, I spoke to him. I, I, I did try, but he's really stubborn, like ultra stubborn. So once he finds something that he doesn't like, he complains about it forever. I just want to avoid making the situation worse. Once he finds something he doesn't like? What, he's already found something he doesn't like about me? Even though we've never met each other before? Did I do something he doesn't like? It's not you, it's just, it's, it's about your family. What about my family? I don't think he's met anyone. Okay, I, I never told him that your family is in farming. When I first told him about you, I made up some lies about your family, all working as office workers and stuff. I hid the fact that you're not from the city. Then we started living together and we got engaged and over time it just got more difficult to tell him the truth. Why would you lie about something like that? Were you ashamed about me not being an uptown girl? I really don't understand what you were thinking. I wasn't ashamed. I just couldn't say it because I know that my dad doesn't like farmers and stuff. I knew that we couldn't get married with him not knowing the truth, so I spoke to him earlier. And he didn't react so well. He was pretty angry about the background you have. Seriously? You're not making some over-the-top joke to scare me, are you? I'm already pretty nervous about meeting your parents, so this isn't helping. If you're not, then I don't understand what there is to like or not like about farmers. I'm proud of my family's history in the area and the organic produce we provide. If he has something to complain about farmers, then he obviously doesn't understand that the world goes around on food and that he should be grateful to farmers for the hard work they do, day in and day out. I don't understand why he would be angry with you, either. Yeah, well, he's probably going to be a pain in the ass tomorrow, so just prepare yourself. There's nothing else I can do to improve his impression of you. You'll just have to do your best to bite your lip and not piss him off any further. I want you guys to get along. You're kidding, right? You're not going to do anything? I'll do my best to make a good impression, of course, but I'm going to need you to support me. We're going to get married, after all. There's going to be times where you'll have to pick a side or come between us if your dad's really that hard to get on with. Tom, you listening?
I can't believe a woman like you actually thought she could marry my son. I bet you were hoping to marry my son so that you could mooch off of him. But you've got another thing coming. He's going to take over my restaurant one day. I can't let a restaurant with so much history as mine be ruined by a country bumpkin. You don't deserve him. Or the fortune he'll be inheriting. You're just a gold digger. What? That's what you thought? You really think I'm after your son's inheritance? I can't believe you! I get a notification telling me I have messages from you and I hoped that there would be an apology, but this is all I get? You're a grown adult. You should accept responsibility and apologize for what you've done. I never imagined that Tom's parents would lack so much common sense. I'm amazed that a woman like you actually thought that she could have a chance to marry my son. He obviously hasn't got any taste in women either. You've got a lot of nerve entering my home. Do you understand? We don't welcome your sort. You don't belong with my son. I thought that your family all worked in the city, so I allowed him to date you. But marriage is out of the question. Did I really do something that bad? I just came to visit because you invited me to your home. I only wanted to introduce myself before I married Tom. That's all. And yet, you lost it the moment I confirmed that my parents are farmers and poured hot soup all over my head. What the hell is wrong with you? I got scalds on my face and arms and you won't even apologize? Are you really serious? What did I do to deserve this treatment? Burn suit a woman like you. You're poor. And you should look it. So that some other idiot won't get stupid ideas about marrying beneath him. What? I don't get how that can even make sense to you. I own a long-standing restaurant. I can't let my son marry someone that thinks she can take advantage of the fortune and reputation that will come with taking over the family business. You're just a farmer from a hick town. Go back to the ranch you came from. Just a farmer from a hick town? That's rich. So what if you own a prestigious restaurant? Do you really think that owning a prestigious restaurant makes you better than other people and give you the right to pour soup on people when you feel like it? I've never heard of anyone as self-righteous as you. It's not just soup. It's cream of brie. Can't you even tell the difference? You were lucky to even get a taste when it ran down your face. It's wasted on a woman like you. I don't care what kind of soup it was. If you're not willing to apologize, then I guess I'll have to think of another way to make you regret your actions. Make me regret what I did? <laughs> Impossible. Why should I regret anything? You got what you deserved. You should be more aware of your position in society. You don't have any right to complain about what I do to you. You had a lot of nerve chasing me out of your home. I thought that if you owned such a renowned business that you would be much more welcoming. I guess I was wrong. Are you really sure you're the owner? How many times do I have to tell you? I own a restaurant that your kind of people don't dare to enter. Don't you even understand English? Is it difficult for you to comprehend what I'm saying, you hillbilly? Then that doesn't make sense. If you really were the owner, I would have expected you to recognize my last name. But you didn't even react when I introduced myself. Are you ignoring it on purpose? Hoping that it's just a coincidence? Or are you really stupid enough to be making a really bad joke? You've taken it much too far if you think this is all funny. What are you talking about? Why would I recognize your last name? I don't have any recollection of meeting anyone of your background. I don't even see the worth in remembering if I met someone like you. As far as I know, this is the first time I've met anyone with that last name. Oh, really? That's a shame. I guess I have no choice if you don't recognize my name. Oh? Are you finally going to agree to cancel the engagement? Have you realized that you're not worthy of my son? I've had enough. I don't want to marry Tom and be stuck with a father-in-law that thinks it's okay to use violence to express his feelings. I never want to have anything to do with you, and don't even want to look at you. As far as I'm concerned, this engagement is over.
My thoughts exactly. I don't want a daughter-in-law that's going to be an embarrassment to my family. I'm well aware that you were planning to suck Tom dry of his fortune the second the business passed to him. He's lucky I took action and prevented that before he wasted any time with you. I'm sure you can find a much more suitable partner out there among the rednecks lumbering around in the country. My son is too good for an unsophisticated woman like you. Find someone that's in your own league, or actually willing to marry beneath them. I know it'll be hard, but why should I care? As long as you don't get in the way of my reputation. Wow, you really are a condescending asshole. I'm surprised your business actually made it this far, with you looking down on farmers the way you do. Your restaurant doesn't deserve the label of being prestigious at all. If you can't respect the work that farmers do, then you obviously have no respect for food. You even proved that by wasting a perfectly good bowl of soup. You don't have the right to lecture me about respecting food. I know better than anyone what food means in this world. It means that I make a profit and that's all that matters. I won't let one farmer girl ruin my business. I'm lucky I managed to get rid of you before the wedding, so I'll let you off this time. But don't even think about trying to stay in touch with my son. He obviously doesn't realize how close we were to making asses of ourselves. But he'll be over you in no time. And he'll find someone more worthy of being part of our family. I won't ever let anyone like you near him ever again. I gotta hope that this serves as a lesson to him too. To not bring anyone like you into our home. But I'm shocked that you even had the audacity to think that you could marry my son in the first place. You should be more aware of your place. Just thinking about how we were one step away from letting our son marry some random farmer girl makes me shudder. You had no right to invade our home like that. Pouring the cream of brie on you was the only way to get you to wake up and realize you don't belong here. You should leave and never come back then I'd be happy to cancel the engagement. That's my line. Great, I'm glad we've come to an understanding about that at least. But don't come begging for me to get back with your son once your business starts falling apart. And you sure you don't want to apologize now while you still can? I'll give you one last chance. What are you talking about? What can you possibly do? I've prevented my business from falling apart by avoiding the worst case scenario of you marrying my son and driving us into bankruptcy. I've protected my family from scum like you and your family. I don't have anything to apologize for. Then I'll have to notify my parents about the engagement being cancelled. My parents already knew that I was due to visit you today, so they were horrified when they saw me with burns on my face at the hospital. My dad's already spoken with the family lawyer and is preparing to take action. What? You have a lawyer ready? I don't want to have anything to do with you, and my parents feel the same way. They're not interested in dealing with such a dangerous man. I'm surprised you even have access to a lawyer. I guess you must be the fancier sort of farmer. But there's no point threatening me with a lawsuit. You'll never be able to beat the team of lawyers I have on standby. You don't even have the financial means to match me. You're just going to waste your time and your money by trying to bring me to court, so I suggest you give up before you're utterly defeated. That may be so. I don't know how much better your lawyer is, but maybe you should take another look at my last name before you do anything else. You should know better than anyone else that my parents are the ones that have been providing your restaurant with fresh vegetables for a very long time, and yet you didn't even realize. What? We've had a contract with your business, but as a result of your idiocy, my parents have decided to end that contract, effective immediately. I don't know how you plan to procure vegetables for your business from tomorrow onwards, but this is what you wanted, right? You said that you didn't want to have anything to do with our sort of people, right? I'm just a random farmer girl from a hick town, right? What are you talking about? Your parents were supplying my restaurant with vegetables? You're not being serious, are you? You didn't even know that? You're the owner. You should be aware of every detail, especially where you're getting your ingredients from. 
Just how irresponsible are you? The owner is supposed to have the biggest say in what kind of ingredients you use and where you get them from, and you don't know? Are you sure you're the owner? I can't believe a restaurant owner like you actually exists. You can't even express any gratitude towards the people that grow the vegetables you use in every single meal? How do you think you've made such a profit until now? If it weren't for the farmers that provide you with fresh, organic produce, you wouldn't even have a business. Are you being serious? Does your family really own the farm that we have a contract with? I really don't believe that you're the one that's running that restaurant. You've got someone else running the business from the shadows, don't you? I can't imagine that your restaurant would be so successful with someone like you at the top. Besides, a real owner would know who he has contracts with and would show them the courtesy and respect they deserve. This all happened because you're an ignorant ass that doesn't know the first thing about owning a restaurant. Or food, for that matter. How do you, how do you know that? Did Tom tell you that? It's supposed to be a family secret. I knew it. Tom hasn't said anything to me about how you run your business. I can tell just by the way you act and from the way you wasted that soup. If you really did have full control of the restaurant, you would be aware of the contracts your business has and you would have recognized my name. You would have a lot more respect for farmers and for everyone involved in the process of delivering a meal to your customers. You're just the owner in name and have someone else running your business, don't you? I have nothing against that itself, but the fact that you make yourself out to be a superior existence because of your owner status annoys me to no end. You know nothing about food and have no respect for the people that grow the vegetables and raise the cows and chickens you eat. I bet you don't even know the difference between a farm and a ranch, since you told me to return to a ranch. I bet you don't even know that vegetables come from farms and not from the supermarket. That's why you were looking down on us. Shut up! Why should I care what a stupid farmer thinks? It's true that my restaurant uses a lot of vegetables. So now I think about it, farmers have some good use after all. But even so, that doesn't make them any better than me. Farmers are just pawns. They're just tools that rich people like me make use of. You'd all be useless without me. Oh, really? If that's the case, then I'm sure you won't be troubled if we decide to end our contract with your business. You can find some other pawn that's willing to deal with your crap. Your general manager, the real executive behind the business, is panicking quite a bit. Haven't you heard anything from him? What? I have some messages from him, but is it really that big of a deal? Our restaurant is renowned nationwide. Why do we have to worry about one farm refusing to provide us with vegetables? We can find another place to make a contract with, no problem. So what if your family doesn't want to do business with us? There are hundreds of other farms that would be delighted to have the chance to work with such a reputable restaurant. You really are stupid. What did you say? My family runs a famous farm that has a history that goes back to my great-grandfather's generation. We only deal in organic vegetables of the highest quality. Didn't you know that it was because of our vegetables that your restaurant became so famous? Without us, you're nothing. Huh? R really? You really didn't know? How ignorant are you when it comes to your own business? You have no right to call yourself owner of that restaurant if you don't know a single thing about it. You've just been wallowing in your pride and self-righteousness believing that your restaurant's popularity made you a successful and competent businessman. But you don't even know that there was a TV program that picked up the ingredients used in your meals and highlighted the use of our organic vegetables. That's how your restaurant gained so much recognition. You don't even have an idea of what might happen to your restaurant if you lose this contract. All I can say is that it's a shame. What are you talking about? I've, I've had enough of you talking to me like that. Wait, my general manager really is panicking. What, what, what's going on? He says that if we end this contract, we'll end up having to close the business. What does this mean? I've already warned you several times already. Are you even listening to me properly? But it's too late to start regretting your actions now. I asked you for an apology and you refused.
Uh, Ad Adriana, was it? What? Now you're asking me for my name? You can marry my son. I'll allow it. <laughs> Excuse me? There have been a lot of uh, misunderstandings. But now I understand that you're, you're not just a farmer girl. I'd be delighted to accept your marriage to my son. Can we forgive and forget everything that's happened up until now? Are you frickin' kidding me? Of course I'm not going to accept that. What? Why? What you've done, the way you've acted, is absolutely unacceptable. And it's not just you that's the problem. I don't want to marry your son. I've completely fallen out of love with Tom. It was enough that you went as far as pouring hot soup on me, but I've lost it with him. I can't respect you, and I can't see Tom as a reliable and caring partner anymore. Even though you did something so dangerous, he didn't even try and stop you. He just watched it happen. He didn't even make a move to help me when I was wiping myself off. He could have at least driven me to the hospital, but no. Once Daddy got angry, he just left me out to dry. There's no point in marrying a man like that if I know I can't trust him to be on my side. I'm canceling the engagement. You're overreacting. I didn't do anything that bad. All I did was help you eat the cream of brie. It was still hot, and I've got scalds and burns. Any adult with a little common sense would know that it's dangerous to do something like that, and yet you did it. You didn't even apologize, so you can't argue that you didn't mean to. And one more thing, my family is fortunate enough to have gained a lot of respect from other farmers, so we have a lot of influence. What? My parents are furious about what happened, and they've already spoken with everyone they know about your behavior and what you really think about farmers. With this, nobody will want to make a contract with your restaurant, and you'll be stuck making tasteless meals without any vegetables, and you'll eventually have to accept bankruptcy. You're lying. None of the local organic farmers will want to work with you, and you'll find it difficult to get in touch with any farmers out of state, too. Even if you did find someone, they'd be too far away for you to be able to consider the delivered vegetables organic. The only reason your restaurant was so popular and was able to make a profit was because it was making a name for itself by using only the freshest and organic produce. That's all ruined because you didn't want to treat your son's fiance with a little respect. You've got no choice but to accept that your life as a superior business owner is over. No, you're just bluffing. There's no way we can't find someone that will deliver vegetables to us. Th this can't be happening. My business was going so, so well until now. How can everything be ruined by us losing one contract? Please, you can't do this. My restaurant won't be able to function if we don't have any vegetables. It's your own fault for looking down on farmers the way you did. If you're so high and mighty, why don't you do something about it yourself? Instead of relying on a lowly farmer girl. You must be able to do everything yourself since you're so much better than me. I'm honestly, sincerely sorry. I, I should never have spoken to you like that. I should never have treated you like that. Please, help me. Otherwise, I'll have to shut down my business. I I'll lose everything. I already told you that you shouldn't come crying to me after your business starts falling apart. It is far too late. You should reflect on what you've done. But it's a shame that you'll only regret what you've done because of the effect it's going to have on your life and not because of the effect it's going to have on mine. Please! I'll get down on my hands and knees. I'll do anything. So, so please, let me protect my business. I don't want to lose my restaurant. I'll let you marry Tom. So please, forgive me. No matter how much you beg, there's no point. I already tried to get along with you before you poured the soup on me, but you wouldn't listen to anything I had to say. Begging me for forgiveness doesn't change the fact that I've got burns and that you've insulted my family. I've already reported this incident to the police, too. What? Our lawyers are ready to take your lawyers on in court, so you better prepare yourself. I'm not going to back down until I've gotten the justice I deserve for everything you've said and done. I'm sorry for being a farmer's girl from the sticks, 
but you'll regret underestimating farmers and wish you had never disrespected us. You told me to leave and never come back, but you're the one that doesn't belong in the restaurant business. See you in court, asshole. I'm going to send you to hell myself. As a result of his violent behavior, Henry was taken away by the police for questioning. There was nothing he could do to avoid his restaurant from closing and had lost all hope in reopening another restaurant because of the public criticism he received for his actions. Tom was desperate to get back together with Adriana and Henry had tried appealing for them to have talks so that they could redo their relationship, but Adriana rejected all of their pleas and completely cut ties with Tom and his family. Adriana's parents used their influence to spread the word about Henry and made sure he could never find anyone to make a contract with him ever again. He went bankrupt, and the story of how a once-loved restaurant had plunged into disfavor was all over the news. Henry became infamous online, and the criticisms never ceased. He had no choice but to move away and start anew. Nobody knows where he's gone and what he's doing. Um, today's my birthday. Didn't I tell you to come home tonight because I needed to talk to you? I also reserved dinner, so hurry up. Uh, please cancel dinner because I don't want to go with an old hag like you, Gabby. Okay, fine. I'll go home, though, because I need to give you something. What are you going to give me? A present? If it is, I don't want it. It's a surprise, and I'll think you'll love it. Can't wait. I don't want a surprise either, actually. All I want is for you to come home. Didn't I tell you what time to come home? Uh, yeah, and? Do you really not want to see me? So you turned 45 today, huh? Wow, you are old now. <laughs> Excuse me, you're getting old also. I'm still in my 30s. Well, you're turning 40 next month, so isn't that much of a difference? There is a big difference. Yeah, yeah, well, that's your opinion. I want to ask younger me why I married someone five years older than me. Age shouldn't matter, you know. I would have chosen someone younger than me right now. Well, even though you say that, you can't redo your life, so stop wasting your time complaining. Anyways, where are you now? <laughs> why would I tell you? Please come home, you finished work, right? Oh my god, okay. I'll be waiting for you. Are you serious, Miles? Uh, yes, get the fuck out. So your surprise present is divorce papers? Yeah, it's a surprise, right? I can't believe you decided to give it to me on my birthday! So, how does it feel to get divorce papers thrown at you and getting told that your husband is gonna remarry a 20-year-old? Now you understand that I don't need you in my life. I'm done with you. I don't need you anymore. I'm the owner of this house, so leave this house. Well, to be honest, this is the best birthday present. You don't need to act so tough. <laughs> you just got dumped and you're gonna get kicked out, so your life may as well be hell from now on. I don't think anyone will want you because you're old and got divorced once. I feel so bad for you. I'm not acting tough, okay? Anyways, good to hear that you're getting remarried to a 20-year-old. When is the big day? It doesn't matter to you. Please get out of my sight. You're acting bossy and trying to kick me out and stuff, but do you not know your place? Yes, I do. Sorry, but I'm gonna be living happily with a young woman. What more can I ask for? Well, what are you leaving, okay? Do, do you fill out the divorce papers? Yeah, I'll drop it off at the clerk's office later, is that okay? We'll be strangers and you'll remain as the owner of the house, is that okay? Stop blabbing about things I don't care about. I don't need you anymore, okay? Do you not understand what I'm saying? You are 45. You're old. You're turning 45 in five years, though. It's fine, because I'm a man. I don't know what you mean, but I don't care anymore. It's a waste of time talking to you. I'm actually finished filling out the divorce papers, so I'll drop it off and leave the house. Please do, because she is coming over soon. Wow, I am so excited to be thinking that I can start living with her. Good for you. I hope it turns out to be like you wanted it to be. 
It's gonna be a million times better than living with you. Living with me? We didn't even see each other in the house. Yeah, because I didn't want to see your ugly ass face and never saw you as a woman, so I'm happy to get a divorce. I'm actually happy to get divorced too. <laughs> Why are you happy? Um, because you were cursing at me all the time? Of course, you weren't listening to me, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, let me ask you one more time. Are you sure you know your place now? If you don't, you must be an idiot. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? I don't deserve to be mocked by someone like you. I'm gonna live like a celebrity with her, so I'm done with you. If you understand me, then leave immediately. Sorry, it's your birthday, but I want to start living with her from today. Sure, I'll be going. <sighs> Finally! Are you forgetting that you live in the house that I bought for $1 billion? I'm the owner of the house, plus I've been paying for the mortgage, so I should have no problem. Were you seriously thinking that this whole time we were living together? Uh, yes. You're joking, right? Of course not. You only paid the mortgage the first year. I've been paying it since then, you know. Uh, what? There's still $500 million of mortgage left. Why don't you talk to her first about this before bringing her here? Your monthly salary is about one grand, right? How are you gonna pay for that? What are you talking about? I was the one paying for it. You just covered the initial down payment. Um, I was paying from your bank account, but I was depositing the money beforehand every month. You were? Yes. You got fired a month after buying the house and were slacking off not working, and when I thought you found a job, it was just a low payment job. Yeah, but I had no problem living even though I didn't earn that much. Life is about having fun, right? That's because I've been paying for everything like bills, living expenses, utilities, etc. This past eight years. You wouldn't know because you never helped me. Really? Sorry for that, but I should have no problem with paying those because you were able to pay for it, right? Wow, I really respect you for being this positive even though your life sucks now. You need to pay two grand per month. What? Two grand? Yep. How are you going to pay for it with your salary? Can't you do math or are you just plain stupid? Uh, wait, I only earn one grand per month. Uh, hold up! There's no way I can pay for it! Oh, now you're realizing. Wow. Well, I'm excited to see what's going to happen to you. <laughs> I'm going to grab some popcorn. Why is this happening? I thought I was paying for it since I was the owner of the house. When we got married, we were pretty much earning good money, so you were the owner of the house, but after getting fired, I was paying for it. Okay? Do you understand? Did I say anything confusing? Wait, what happened to my salary then? Why are you asking me? You probably used it. Well, I have no plan on depositing any more money, so why don't you ask your girl to pay? My 20-year-old girlfriend? Yes. I was cringing when you told me you were dating someone 20 years younger and also going to be relying on her for the payment. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Well, now that I left, good luck with everything, Kay. The divorce is approved, by the way. Finally. You don't need to say that, you know. Well, all I want to say is have fun living with your young girlfriend. I'll leave and will not contact you whatsoever. Uh, pick up the phone, please. I was wrong. Let's get back together. I need you. What are you talking about? We're divorced. I don't want anything to do with you, so I will not pick up the phone. What do you mean you don't want to do anything with me? We're husband and wife. Didn't I just say we're divorced? My girlfriend got disgusted with me and left after I told her everything. I can't believe this. What the hell did I do? Really? You have a brain, so why don't you think about it? She made the right choice. This gave me a huge wake-up call that younger girls are not for me because they don't understand crap. Understand what? Everything! I realize that you're the one who understands me and supports me, so please come back! Let's start over. Today is still your birthday, so, uh, yeah, why don't we celebrate? Damn, you're creeping me out that I'm getting goosebumps. I'm creeping you out? Yes! 
Anyways, you wished for me to leave the house and get divorced, which I did, so what more do you want from me? The divorce papers you threw at me were God's gift from heaven because I wanted to get divorced also. Y you really wanted to? But I'm glad that we didn't talk about this because I was thinking you wouldn't want to divorce me if you knew about the mortgage and all the payments. Wait, I'm sorry, so you are really going to divorce me? Of course! Sorry, but nothing changes even if you apologize. I was looking for perfect time to bring up divorce to you, but you did, so thank you. Uh, look, I really feel bad for cheating, but I wanted to be with someone younger because I'm old and I want to feel young. You know what I mean, right? But I realized I need you, so please come back to me. Oh my god, I can't even find a word to say to you. Absolutely not! I will make you pay for the alimony. What? Why? If you have a problem, why don't you hire a lawyer? If you even have enough money, though. Well, I don't think you'll have the money from now on, so good luck with everything. Now that I'm divorced, I'll enjoy my life, because I'm free. Wait, don't leave me! I don't even want to waste time for you. Bye, asshole. I don't need you in my life anymore. Miles tried to contact me a few more times, but he didn't know that I blocked him. He had to sell the house to pay for the alimony, but since it wasn't enough and didn't have any savings left, he ended up being in debt. He had no other choice but to work a full-time job, and now he works without any breaks or vacation. Someone told me that he aged 20 years and now looks like an old man. On the other hand, since I'm stress-free, my skin cleared up and feeling so much better now. I even bought a new apartment. It's obvious he's happier now.